I was telling him, here we are outside our British Parliament, and we are bearing witness against infanticide, genocide, torture, another Semitic people this time, people called Arabs and Muslims. They are Semitic, aren't they? And we have to stand up. I had a display here that said, the murder to children, as you do to the least, you do to me, Jesus. That's what I get from my Christian perspective. You get the same from your perspective. I've had wonderful Buddhist people from Japan who gave us these pictures. Wonderful Muslim people. Oh, everybody. Michael Culver, he would call himself an atheist. Although I think agnostic is the, is the correct term. He's a good man, a good heart. And you can have a good heart, can't you? And it's our duty to stand up for those who are oppressed this time. Because there's always an oppressed people, isn't there? Always. Throughout history, some people have been oppressed. And our duty as human beings, as believers, or whatever we call ourselves, is to stand up for those people. Because as other people have diminished, so are we. And the first thing you do in war is to take away other people's humanity, the enemy. You have to do that, otherwise you can't kill them. You have to restore humanity. You have to keep your humanity. Treat everybody decently. Yes, David Lloyd George, we reserved the right to bomb the niggers, 1932, he said that, British Prime Minister. He said that because the German people, hey, you know these bad ones, the Nazis, the Germans, the black ship of Europe, in 1932, the German people were saying a ban on this bombardment of enemy cities. It's a particularly cowardly thing to do, isn't it? To go and bomb the cities where the non combatants are. This is not man on man or warrior culture, is it? To go and bomb and blast the whole cities. Particularly cowardly. I went to Cambodia in 1989 when Pol Pot was on his way back. Do you want to come and sit with us? All the bombing that went on all throughout Southeast Asia, the bombing and the blasting and the poisons. That's the stop, isn't it? I've said too much as well. It's up to you. It's up to me. Every life is precious. Every human being is precious. So are the foxes. Did you know they spent 700 hours debating how we kill British foxes in our parliament? They spent seven hours debating how we kill Iraqi people. Isn't that nice? This filthy war. I told Mr. Blair, 45 minutes, Mr. Blair, 45 minutes, Mr. Blyer. Dodgy dossiers, plagiarized thesis, 45 minutes, sexy lie. And for that, all the innocents have to die. Not in my name. Not in your name. Not in my name. Stand.